Good morning and welcome again to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a verse from Mark, Mark chapter 2 and verse 4, please. It says this, And when they could not come near unto him for the crowd, they uncovered the roof where he was, and when they had broken it up, they let down the bed in which the sick of a palsy lay. The little heading this morning is simply this, a faith that cannot be stopped. A faith that cannot be stopped. True faith, you see, cannot be beaten. Faith in God will always bring results because God loves to see faith. And when he sees faith, he will move and he will, he will reward it. Faith always creates a way where there seems to be no way. Never give in, just trust in God who can and will do the impossible. It says the house was full. The crowd blocked the entrance at the door. But faith found a way of getting this paralyzed man right to the feet of Jesus. Or to have that faith to bring men and women to the feet of Jesus. For those of our Lord who loves him and knows him as Saviour, we must make a way for getting those of our loved ones who know him not. And we must get a way of bringing them to hear God's word, that we can bring them right to the feet of Jesus. Where there's a will, there's always a way. Where there's a will, there's always a way. According to Luke chapter 5 and verse 19, it says this, the roof tiles had to come off. How incredible that was when you think of it. Who would ever thought of doing that? Who would ever dare to do it? But they were so, uh, uh, they believed that God was able so much that there was nothing that was going to hinder these people. The situation was so desperate that they was going to allow nothing to stop them getting their friend to Jesus. Of course, there would be complaints, I'm sure. Even so there would have been some danger to those that were sitting inside. There would have been dust that would fall. Perhaps bits of tile would fall. Spiders and all sorts of things would fall. Some people would have been shocked, but the truth is, friend, true faith will always shock people. And many will be shocked even more by the results of true faith. Jesus was there to heal. And so roof or no roof, faith would get this man to Jesus for healing of the body and saving of his soul. God help us, friends, to have such faith on behalf of our loved ones. May we see miracles as we move forward in faith the world tries all that they can through all sorts of different inventions to try and attract men. But we must realize that we have the greatest attraction that this world can ever know, will ever know, or ever have. We have the divine Son of God, Jesus himself. Jesus is here. And we must show Jesus. And as we see Jesus, the Bible says this, that he will draw all men unto himself. It's not unto you or unto me, but it's unto him. It was the presence of Jesus that caused such victorious courage in the friends of this paralyzed man. And it's the Lord's presence that is still with us, the very same presence. Have you experienced the power of God in your own life? Have you experienced his presence? Have you experienced true salvation? And if you have then, friends, then whether through the door whether through a window or through the roof, let us overcome all obstacles that we may be able to bring people to know Jesus. Remember that God always has a way. Let's pray that God will enable us to have faith to fulfill that way that he has. Jesus said, I am the way. When he is the way, friends, all will be well. How wonderful it is. In verse 5 it says this, When Jesus saw their faith, he produced the miracle. He saw their faith because they put their belief into action. And it is time, friends, to put our belief into action. For faith without works is dead. But faith in action cannot be stopped. Oh, God help us this morning to go out believing, to go out to have faith, to trust, and to make a way where there is no way and to prove our wonderful Saviour. God bless each and every one of you. I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.
God bless you.